Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for the super chats, for the super thanks, and the donations to my channel, guys. Um, I'm missing City so terribly. I wanted to show you something, but you would cry if I show you. Oh, I've been crying. I'm sorry, my face looks puffy. I've just been crying because I miss her. But I'm gonna be with her soon. Anyways, Megan wants to drown in negativity, the visit of the Prince and Princess of Wales. That's not gonna happen. And her reality show airs on December 8th. Yay! <laughs> Aren't we all looking forward to it? I'm gonna start smiling like Megan Marga. <laughs>
that is libelous. Well, anything, you know, she doesn't have to be careful because she's been able to get away with everything. She has been escalating. First, there, was, there were conversations, and then when Harry comes in, he proves her wrong. He says, no, there was a conversation way before we even got married. And of course, we have lovely Oprah, who doesn't probe any further, right, about that. But wait a minute, Megan said that while she was pregnant, there were conversations about the skin color. Had she asked that, Harry would have said, well, no, maybe she misunderstood or something like that, right? Like, because you see, Megan's recollections really do vary. They vary so very much. You know, and um, so, and then they're proven to be lies. So, um, but of course, and then nothing happened. Everybody was upset. First, everybody, oh, Oprah, but then she never thought she would get called out. She never thought anybody would call out her lies, but people did. People like me, a small YouTuber in, <laughs> in the middle of Norway, Nicaragua, and Canada. Um, Yes, so she gets called out. Oprah is, you know, upset because it backfires, tries to distance herself. I just lent them my platform to say whatever they wanted. No, Oprah is very careful with her image. She was, I think I told you she was suing a, a company at a university because they were teaching Oprahnomics or something like that. They were using her name and she threatened to sue, so they had to stop that course. <laughs> so we have that. And then now we have, of course, the n-word how archie why should i give a picture of my child to the very same people who call my son the n-word who who are these people who call your son you see she left it vague enough for people to either think it's either the press or the royal family because she refused to give the royal family a picture for the royal family to publish in their website or anywhere so who who called her son the N who called her ginger white son the n-word i'd like to know so, of course, she doesn't get called out. Now, she's getting in a war for fighting structural racism. What is she going to say in that acceptance speech? She has to say, I fought this and this. She has to give specific examples. She hasn't been called out about that. So, we have that. Remember when I told you things are escalating? So, it's going to be interesting. So, that on the 29th, she's going to be given three hours where she won't, she doesn't allow the press. Uh, there's some people, you know, there's a lovely lady who's doing a GoFundMe page to see if we can go and see Meghan Markle, you know, and get a table because she's not allowing the press and, and we really would love it. I don't have the cash. So this lady's doing this to send us Pedina Royal Daily Tea, a bunch of us, 10 of us, to go there. I would tackle her to the ground. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would probably ask her a few questions. Um, so... But she's not allowing the press because she wants to release it on the 2nd of December to compete with uh, Prince William and in, in, in Catherine, the Princess of Wales show. The problem that she has is that a bunch of A-listers are attending, like proper A-lister, like Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, Reese Witherspoon. As some proper A-listers. No amount of Elton John is going to help her there. Like we're talking serious A-listers here. So people with pulling power, you know? So we have all of that. So we've had Megan basically being on challenge. What is her acceptance speech going to say? And then, yes, so she has something on the 29th. Uh, she's going to release it most likely on the 2nd of December because she has control of that, because she's not allowing the press in. And then the Prince and Princess of Wales are coming to the United States. Now their security, as I mentioned before, has been exponentially uh, compromised due to Carrie, Carrie Kennedy's uh, completely thoughtless uh, comments, false comments based on Meghan Markle's account, false accounts of things. So what do you think? People are going to say all these because, you know, structural racism is associated with white supremacy. By the way, in the United States, there's a lot of not only institutional racism, but structural racism as well. So people want to make it look like it's just to the, to the United Kingdom. No, it's not. So, so then we have that beautiful Earth Shark Prize. Oh, they're going to look so gorgeous. And by invitation only. And then uh, on the 6th, they're going to attend and Megan is going to receive this award where she's going to do like a kind of UN speech. Oh my God. 
I can just see her. Is she gonna be smiling like this? And she's sitting the same thing forward because you know Catherine has a natural little bit of you know forward chin thing when she smiles, but that's just her natural smile. She gonna be doing this. That is so fucking scary. She looks like she's about to bite somebody. But then, um, so we have that, and then we have the reality show on the eighth of December. So she wants to drown out that visit from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, uh, sorry, from the Prince and Princess of Wales with negativity. So in their minds, when they arrive, they're going to be booed. They're not going to be booed, honey. This is Boston. And it takes a lot of balls because let me tell you, Boston is where the tea party was. <laughs> and yet they're being lovely, lovingly welcomed. And I mean, the whole country, it's, this is the Earth Shock Prize. They're there to give up money for people to help the environment, to, to create, to, who come up with amazing ideas for the environment. I mean, a prince and a princess who are actually doing good, using their platform for good, I'm down with it. And I have, there's gonna be a surprise there for you guys, so you know. But anyways, um, so yes. Um, so let's see what happens. And then we're gonna have Samantha Markles. I mean, what do you guys think she's gonna say in that acceptance speech? I'm very curious, because whatever she says, she has to talk about what exactly she was that she faced in the royal family. Because she got an almost $40 million wedding, was not good enough. Uh, <laughs> You know, like like a huge staff, staff handpicked for her was not good enough. Luxurious offices were not good enough. She was given the Commonwealth Trust Foundation, which, uh, which is the Queens. You know, they ha they were given a, a huge platform. They were given a 54 countries platform. I think it's 2.1 billion or something people platform to do good. Meghan Markle got a huge glowing allowance. She was given privileges that nobody else not even you know Catherine or even the Princess of Wales were, were uh, Princess Diana were given, or not even Sophie, you know, go on the train with the Queen, talk to the Queen, you know, like. But the problem that Meghan Markle and Harry don't like is that they are they are being called for the lies. And remember when I told you that they have to lie, they have to really trash people because they already started. And once you start, it's like a snowballing effect. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I look forward to your comments.